Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to look at the strip string method. We saw the left strip string method and the right strip string method. Now we see the strip string method. Man, so the huge tongue twister. Anyway, um, the left string or strip string method uh, would remove content from the left hand side of the string object and the uh, right strip string method would remove content from the right side of the string method. Now the strip string method will remove content from the either side of the strip uh, of the string method. Uh, object, I'm sorry, string object. Man, so many string strips and everything else going on. So let's take a look at it. So we're going to carry a string object and we're going to give it a couple spaces on each side and say hello world. Alright, and we'll give some spaces on the other side, and we're going to do strip, and the default value of strip, if we don't provide an argument, is white space, so we're going to move the white space from the left side of this sh string object, and the right side of the string object, and hit return, and we remove the spaces, so we get returned a new string object without spaces on either side. So the strip string method, unlike the left and right strip string method, removes from both sides of the object. So let's take a look at another one. If we do, um, uh, let's see, i got to try to think of one that would work. Uh, let's do a website. Let's do uh, www.learnpythontutorial.com and we're going to do strip And what I want to do is remove a W. I want to remove a period. I want to remove a C. I want to remove an O. I want to remove an M. And close out my sh argument, string argument. And close out my string method. So what's happening here? I want to remove the www dot. And I want to remove the dot. COM here and just get learn Python tutorial return to me. So how do I do that? I call strip and I say all right remove all the W's on on either side move all the dots on either side and remove all the C's on either side remove all the O's on either side and remove all the M's on either side. So when I hit return I should just get learn Python tutorial and that's what I got. Um, hold on. Sorry, I had to pause the video. My son woke, woke up. Now, as you can see, we removed it all from here. So when does Python know when to stop the strip? All right, so I explained this in one of the previous tutorials, but I'll do it one more time, is when it goes through and reads and removes, um, say, the Ws, because they're in our argument, the period's in our argument, the com is in our uh, argument, if it comes across a letter, it doesn't. It's not an argument like an L and an L here. What it does is it stops. So it will stop on this side when it sees the L and say, "All right, I can't go any further on this side." Then it removes all the uh, matching arguments on this side and it says, "Oh, I can't go any further this way because of the L." And that dot com should have came down there. All right. So let's take a look at this one more time. Let's create one more string and say. We are learning Python. All right, and we'll do strip. And what do we want to remove here? We want to remove an W and E, uh, R, A R E, L E A R N I N G. I didn't have to put all those ends in there and stuff, but we'll see what happens here. I didn't plan this one out, so we'll see how this works out. And I get error. What is my error? String object has no attribute string. Oh, because I read string, not strip. So let's redo that one. All right, so just quick uh, overview. Um, we haven't seen this often, um, but when it happens is it says string has object has or string object has no attribute string. 
Well, it's saying, hey, we don't have a string method called, or string, we don't have one like that. So what do you want? Well, what happened was I mistyped it. I should have said strip, not string. So that's what happened. I hit return down here. We're gonna get, we are learning Python. Now what happened there? Well, first off, the W is not removed because it's a lowercase w. You see that there? So it stops immediately right there. It doesn't go any further on the left-hand side. Now, we remove n because it went through and said, oh, there's an n in here. We'll remove n, but there's no o, so we're going to stop here. So that's what happened in this, um, we are learning Python stri um, string method. So let's take a look at that one more time, just to show you what I mean. We are learning Python and dot strip. I'm not going to put string this time, strip. And we're going to do capital W. We are, and I don't need to put the E because I already used the E. I'm going to do this right this time. The L, we don't have to put an E. We don't have to put an A because we already used M. R, we don't need to put that. We already used that. N, we got to put an N. Um, and I, we got to put that. And a G. All right. We'll close out our string. Close out our string method. Hit return. And we get, we are learning Pythalo. And what happened there? Alright, so we went and stripped the we and went the n. And then Python was going through and hit a space. Well, we didn't include a space in our argument, so it stops right there. And then it took out the n and hit an o. We don't have an o in our argument, so it stops there. So that is the strip string method in Python. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website, learnpythontutorial.com. And don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.